dear ones. I'm going to be honest with you. For me, these past few months have been rough. As the pandemic wears on, I have experienced a level of exhaustion I have not known before. And it's not just the pandemic. It's witnessing the devastating impacts of widespread disinformation, the attacks on our democracy, the attacks on people's lives and rights. It's the attack on women's rights and reproductive health. And it is living through the increasingly frequent impacts of climate change. It has all been so much. And there is still so much grief at the loss of loved ones, family members, friends, and the nearly incalculable loss of so many lives to this pandemic. The despair is real. If you are feeling it, I want you to know you are not alone. I knew this in-between or liminal time would be more difficult than the early days of the pandemic, but I didn't really appreciate how it would feel in my body and spirit. But here's the thing that is saving me now. I have found myself out of necessity turning towards gratitude. As we enter this season of holidays and holy days, we have an opportunity to draw our attention to what sustains us, to draw our attention to the sources of love and care and gratitude in our lives. However you celebrate, Holidays are a time that, and the rituals that surround them are an opportunity for reflection. They often invite us to remember our past, which can bring joy as well as sorrow. But they also remind us to be attentive to the present moment. The writer and activist Adrian Marie Brown writes, I have had to soften my grip on a fearful future narrative and return to the humility of the present. I have had to soften my grip on a fearful future narrative and return to the humility of the present. Spiritually, in my daily practice, I am leaning into gratitude and attention to the sustaining present moment because I need a way to get in touch with the sources of joy and compassion in my life. Joy and compassion are life sustaining. We are made for joy and compassion. Leaning into gratitude for this earth, Gratitude for the relationships that sustain me, leaning into the presence of love that surrounds me and all of us, leaning into the gift that is present with each breath of life. This practice is bringing more joy and light into my spirit. Gratitude is a foundation for so many of the values and qualities that we hope to nurture. Gratitude helps us appreciate our loved ones and bring more care and attention to that which matters most. With time and consistency, practicing gratitude does nurture more joy in life. It makes us attentive to the beauty and the gifts that surround us and that are not of our own making. Gratitude helps us turn our unrealized desires to an appreciation of what we already have and for what Adrian Marie Brown describes as the humility of the present. Gratitude is a foundation for touching the earth with reverence, a practice of seeing life and the beauty of creation as a gift and treating it as such. 
practicing gratitude, being intentional and taking time to name what we are grateful for also reminds us of our fundamental interdependence. When I ask myself, what am I grateful for? I think of the people that I love and who love me. I think of the relationships that sustain me. I think of my sweet dog and how much I love him, how grateful I am for his presence in our family. I think of the gift of the earth. I open my attention and give thanks for the blue sky or the rain, for the trees and the sun, for the wind and the life-giving water. I remember the fundamental interdependence in which I am held, in which all life is held. And I feel that as a source of strength and connection. One of the things I love most about gratitude is that it's concrete. We all know what gratitude means. We know what it is to feel thankful. On the one hand, gratitude is simple and clear. However, when we really foster an intentional practice of being mindful every day, of taking time every day to think about what we are grateful for, to think about the gifts that have come to us and sustain us, we realize that gratitude actually has the power to deeply change our perspective. It has the power to shape and reshape our communities and our culture. Gratitude is incredibly powerful. Gratitude is a concrete practice that with time unlocks a generosity of spirit and a generosity of love. Experiencing our interconnectedness, experiencing the ways that we are not isolated beings, but deeply connected and held by gifts not of our own making, inspires a generosity of spirit for ourselves and for others. It inspires a desire to nurture those connections with love, to pay more attention to what matters. So I am calling myself back to gratitude these days. I am calling myself back to a practice of gratitude to find my way through the grief and the fear and the struggle and the despair. Now, to be clear, this practice of gratitude doesn't make our grief or my grief go away. And it doesn't mean I don't still have moments of fear and anger or feel gripped by despair. Intentional spiritual practice actually makes space for our for all of us to welcome whatever is present in our hearts. And gratitude reminds me that that is not all that life holds for me. There are so many ways to create a regular practice of gratitude. I know people who have gratitude journals who spend a little time each day writing down one or two or three things that they were grateful for from that day. Many years ago, I had a practice where every time I would cross the threshold of my home, either to leave or to come back home, as I crossed the threshold, I would pause and take a breath. And I would recall something that I was grateful for from the day or from the morning. These days, I am making time in my morning practice to ask myself what I am grateful for and to open my heart to those gifts. When our spirits are worn and weary from grief and loss and fear and anger, which legitimately our spirits are rightfully weary. When we are too short with ourselves or others, 
too impatient or critical or negative with ourselves or others, gratitude can be a practice that nurtures in us a generosity of spirit, a generosity of kindness. So much right now seeks to isolate us, to divide us, to wear us out and wear us down. Turning towards a concrete practice of gratitude helps combat the ways in which we are being called to isolation and division because gratitude actually turns us toward each other. Reminds us of our interconnectedness, which is so critically, spiritually needed in our world these days. I know there are times in our lives when our despair and our grief is so great that we may not be able to even name one thing we are grateful for. I know those days are real. However, I also know that even if nothing comes, that just calling our attention to look for things we are grateful for helps open our helps open our eyes, our attention, our spirits, so that with time, we can become more aware of the gifts around us. Gratitude and practicing gratitude each day has been saving me. It's been reminding me of joy. It's been inspiring, inspiring in me more joy, compassion, pleasure, humility. It's been reminding me of the gifts that are present in each moment. And finally, I want to say how grateful I am for all of you and how grateful I am for this faith that we share, this faith that nurtures and sustains and holds me in these, in these days. My prayer for you, my offering for you, I pray that there may be more moments of gratitude and joy in your days. And know that we are, all of us, deeply connected by unseen but real threads of compassion, of humanity and care. And that this is a source of strength and love in our lives. Blessings to you, blessed be, and I love you.